Greetings. Today, I've been reflecting on this uh, MBTI test that I took, right? I took it years ago. And it said that, well, the results determined that I'm an INFJ. All right. Did more research, did more digging, did more digging. And it not only resonates, but it helps, it helped me understand myself so much more. I bring this up because if you are INFJ, life is very interesting. And I'm sure it is for everybody, right? Everybody's on their journey. Got it. I'm not saying the INFJ is an ultra special or nothing. But understanding that and seeing the way that I see the world gave me a lot of peace. It helped me see some of the blind spots that I have. It helped me understand reactions that I get from people. I, <laughs> over my life, I did, yeah, I've had some crazy reactions. Uh, I've kept to myself a lot. It's partially why I even do these videos. It's putting myself out there for an understanding of I started finding out uh, about myself that I like self-improvement, working on different things within myself. And doing this video is, doing these videos, is more so me just jumping out there. I mean, I've been out in the public eye doing certain things before artistically, but even then I like to play the background. I used to make myself smaller. I used to downplay the things I would do, but honestly, it's, I mean, I'm getting close to 40 now. I really don't care. I don't, but I don't care to get a lot of people's attention either. I just like to share some of the things that I've learned, and that's what I'm here doing. So if it helps, great. If it doesn't, bye. And then we keep it moving. No fire too. Oh, with these things said, I've, over the course of my life, have challenged many things and many people. I've made them upset. And I like harmony, so I don't like I don't like upsetting anybody. I don't. However, there are some times where I'm confronted with the ignorance is bliss situation or conversation, and it rubs me the wrong way. So now I depart. I, I, I don't even entertain that. Nah, I'm not moving with that. However, in my let's say in my twenties, right, I was a barber in barbershop, especially in black barbershop. It's a lot of arguing. It's a lot of just foolish talk, real talk at times. But I uh, <laughs> I used to argue a lot. I used to rub people the wrong way a lot, and I didn't realize at that time that I was critically deep. I was like critically thinking about these topics or some of the things that people would say or the reactions they would have, and I would almost go too deep. I was saying, by looking at that deep, well, I was wondering why. I thought everybody thought like that. Like, you just think more and more. You think more and more. Uh, what they call it, the NITI loop, I believe. But certain ideas or certain uh, issues were really fester in my mind. And I would wonder when I did come to out of that loop and I really drew my own conclusion, I would wonder why nobody else had this epiphany. Wasn't nobody tripping on it like that but me. Okay, it's cool. I accept it now. Back then, it was just like, the world is tripping. Now I get it. It's just how my brain is wired. That's, that's what I do. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, I bring these things up because in the world that we're in now, I don't, I don't entertain social media. This is the only social media I do have. I don't engage with too many people uh i'm very good at having random conversations with strangers it's something that's just always been a part of me got it embrace it keep it moving but in the world that we're in when i do uh poke my head out and see what's going on whether it be out and about listening to conversations having a conversation or two uh <laughs> Social media is just not the... That's not the move for me, so I don't engage too much off of social media. I may look at uh, long-form videos or 
you know, review certain topics on YouTube. Cool. See what the post of the world is like at this time. And it just doesn't resonate. I'll be honest. Some of the things that the world can get caught up in, doesn't. It, it's never really resonated with me, but as I get older, I'm more comfortable in saying and, and vocalizing that. I.e., woke. The whole woke thing. Yo, I have... N it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. And this is not me trying to bash anybody or their beliefs or what they think. No, it's not about that. It's about how long I've taken to really think about some topics. Not topics for videos, just hot topics in the world. As you could tell, I'm a black male. A lot of black people are woke, quote unquote. I don't want to throw darts in there and I'll simply say it like this. Logically, if you, if you keep paying attention, the things that the masses care about or uh, caught up in ruminating in, it's just, it's nonsensical. It doesn't make, it, it has no end. And I'm not saying like it's new, so I'm not just poking on the whole woke movement thing. Nah, this is not new. Like when I was younger, there were all types of things they were the same. I.e., uh, I was born in the 80s, right? So, growing up, it's a lot different than it is now, which is always like that. If I, if I was born today, it'd be a lot different by the time I'm 15, 20, even faster, changes comes about, right? Growing up, being homosexual was looked down upon. I don't care what anybody do. That's, that's y'all business. But then in my teenage years, it became acceptable. Now, this is 10 years, like 10 years. By the time I'm 10, like, you start seeing this shit. And then things were acceptable when it came to homosexuality. All right, cool. Do your thing. As a kid, I could see the shift. I didn't understand what was real, like, I didn't understand who, who made the choice that this is okay now. I didn't understand that. Then you get in, I get into my 20s. Okay, it's more prevalent now. Like, now it's not just, when I was younger, in my teenage years, it was just acceptable for women, but not more so acceptable for men. By the time I got to my 20s, it was more acceptable for men and women. And you see the snowball effect. Okay, get to my 30s. Now, trans is in there. I'm saying, I'm, I'm sharing this story to simply say the way my brain works. I've been watching the long story of that particular topic play out over my life. Very interesting. Very interesting. Because that's how I process my information. I look at the story of it. Just look at the story. Follow the story. You can follow the themes. That's with any and everything. I use that as an example. The woke, homosexuality, all that stuff. It's simply me having an understanding how my brain works. So when I'm out in when I'm out in the world or when I'm talking to somebody, I've now become to realize that it's a way to put it. While I'm watching the entire movie most people are caught up in the scenes they don't care about the previous scene unless it's re relevant to the current scene they don't care about the future scene unless it's relevant to the current scene I process the opposite I look at the entire story and then I see how that scene plays or fits into the story or the narrative as people like to say As I, if you're INFJ, let me know if this makes sense. I know it's very abstract at times, but that's how my that's how my brain goes. So I'm also saying these things because I'll be 40 in a couple. I'll be 40 next year. Damn, now that I think about it, it's been a while since I thought about that. Uh, yeah, I thought life would look different. 
by different, I'm not talking about like material wealth, mansions, all that BS. No, I thought that life would be more congruent. Not my life, but the world, the story of the world. But no, it's the opposite. It's more chaotic. We can blame it on whatever we want, but it's, it's that's just how the story goes in life. If you look at the history of generations, that's how the story goes. Chaos, peace, chaos, peace. Cool. Once I begin to grasp that concept, I was okay with it. I ain't saying anything is right or wrong. I'm just okay with it because now it really clicked for me. This is what it is. It let me fall back. It allows me to worry about having the uh, the comfortable lifestyle that I want, how that looks for me. And I also wish that for everybody else, whatever that looks like. I don't like getting in nobody's way. I don't like causing ruckus, none of that stuff. I'm simply here to speak my peace. I like that for other people too. I love harmony. I don't like being argumentative. I like a good debate. Like I like to discuss things and see how far, you know, we could take certain topics of thinking and even be challenged at times. Like, oh, okay, I missed the mark there. Cool. I'm all for it. But I'm more of a builder and not a destroyer for myself. I would love to hear what y'all think about that as well. I don't, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, before I go too crazy on y'all, I just want to share some of these uh, ideas that have been bouncing around in this noggin of mine. Uh, I I think life is good. <laughs> I really do. I think life is good. And for myself, INFJ, I love... I love understanding myself more because it allows me to have more fun with the ideas that I have. It allows me to have more fun to freely think, speak, and be who I am and understand the way I maneuver. I don't care if INFJ is rare or not. It means nothing to me. But finding a way to help develop myself more, it's empowering. It's, it's very empowering. So I'm sharing this Just to be open If it resonates Let me know Tell me if you agree You don't agree Regardless Life is beautiful Until next time Be blessed